the Bible says, and John says, and after this I looked and behold, a door was opened in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me, which said, come up hither and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. I need you to understand that John said there was a door opened in heaven. Let me say this. I know you are conversant with the doors on earth. But men who operate in wonders that shock their generation are men who understand the door of heaven. People of God, the doors of heaven are doors of the supernatural. The doors of heaven are doors that men gain access into by fellowship and communion. The doors of heaven, people of God, are doors that even when men lock physical ones for you, they cannot lock that one. People of God, that door of heaven is the access that even gives you the access to the doors of men. The doors of heaven is the doors that control all doors on earth. John said, I looked and I saw a door was opened in heaven. Now, notice carefully, the door was already open, has always been open. But people of God, until John saw the door, he was not asked to enter. So, sir, the access for you to make great things happen has already been open. But unfortunately, because you are not consistent in your work with God, you've not been able to access it. The door has been opened. There's, there's a new season door that you needed to plug into in the realm of the spirit is already open. There's a door of boundless possibilities already open. But people of God, the weakness of your prayer life cannot help you assess it. There's a door already open. People of God, the lack of consecration will not let you. Remember, I'm not talking about a door that is closed. A door you need to bang on. Bang on is already open. But fellowship will help you access it. You, you know John was told, he said, come, 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 John. Come up here and I will show you things that is going to happen hereafter. Which means, John, I want to hand you the dossier of your tomorrow. John, I want to show you your tomorrow so that you can have a voice in it. John, I want to invite you to a boardroom meeting so that we can sit down. If I show you about tomorrow, you can now have a voice and say, Lord, can this thing be adjusted this way? John, let me show you tomorrow so that you will be the surprise to your tomorrow. Your tomorrow cannot surprise you. But please, the people of God, notice that there is a door that must be accessed. This is how men walk wonders. Go show me a man who is operating in high realm of spiritual understanding. I will show you a man that has understood that there are doors that men access that is bigger than the doors of men. And people of God, that door that they access in the heavenlies is the same door that will unlock the doors of men. Am I communicating? Tell your neighbor the door is already open. Now declare after me, say, I arise, I access the door. If you understand it, thunder it louder, amen.